Now look, recently there was this YouTuber, this gay YouTuber named Memeless. Oh shit boys, I've been called gay over the internet. This is the end for me, I'm off, see you later. Okay, so a few days ago, I made a video on a guy that made um, this video. I quite fancy having ads on this video, so, so I'm not going to say the title. But he made a response to my video. Now, nine times out of ten, I won't make a video on someone's response to me. And most of the time, I, I wouldn't even mention it anywhere. But this response is just something else. Like, some of the points and arguments this guy makes are just out of this world. But anyway, let's get in and see what he has to say about me and my video. It's your boy, Lasker in the building, man. Coming at you with another lady video, as always. Jesus Christ, he, he dabbed twice there. In the last video, he only dabbed once. This is some phenomenal improvement here. Now look, recently there was this YouTuber, this gay YouTuber named Memeless. This gay YouTuber calls Memeless. Did I, did I just get called gay over the internet? Is this what cyberbullying feels like? But the funny thing is, this guy genuinely thinks calling someone gay is like a top tier insult. Like legit, he's probably the only person above the age of 10 that actually gets upset when people call him gay over the internet. He's deleted all the comments now, but on, um... The this video. He left like two comments in his comment section, getting proper defensive because people were calling him gay. Like, mate, I'm not being funny, but if you're getting that defensive, then chances are you're gay, mate. But I think it's meanless. Something like that, you feel me? I'm not finna give him no publicity, you feel me? I'm not playing his channel. Well, you just have. You've already said my name like twice in this video. And on top of that, you've put my name in the title and my name in the description twice. And also, while we're on the topic of the description, let's just read it out. Bag YouTuber Memeulous tries to violate me. So you you know I had to put him in his place. Oh, uh, I've been put in my place by the description alone. So, yeah, um, he not getting no clout for me, but... Fuck's sake. All I wanted was some clout. That's all I was trying to achieve from my video on him. Like, what, what does clout even mean? It sounds like an STD. Clout. A heavy blow with the hands or a hard object. And influence or power, especially in politics or business. Like, I, I ain't being funny, mate, but you've got no clout to give out anyway. They know I have the best videos on YouTube. They, they see my grind. Five, four, three uploads every single day. They can't do it. They mad. Oh, yes, I am. Raging. Like, if you have the ability to upload three or four times a day, that should be kind of a wake-up call to how shite your videos are. Also, if you didn't see the video I made on this guy or haven't seen this guy's videos before, don't watch them. Don't put yourself through what I had to go through. You feel me? They see the quality content. They see the creativity. They can't match it. They can't do it. Their video's trash. It's boring. You feel me? They dying off. 54 million views in one year. Over 400,000 subscribers in one year. You feel me? Who you know doing that? Nobody. Nobody has ever done that. Eli Socrates you are the undisputed king of YouTube and I am so sorry for making a video on you, but please forgive me Recently, I made a video having so pity wise if you go to my channel and you look under the category my channel is in it's going to say entertain Mint. Yeah, but the thing is, y your videos aren't entertaining. To classify as being an entertainment channel, your first priority should be to make your videos entertaining. Like, to be fair to you, th there may be a few people out there that find your videos entertaining, but chances are that they haven't even developed a brainstem yet. Like, 90% of this bloke's videos are just filler. It's just him rambling on about shit and repeating himself to get to the 10 minute mark. <sighs> Alright, I don't know how to say this, but, um... I gotta say... So I'm gonna try to make this as clear as possible. But yeah, them first six minutes of the video where you introduce what's happening. That that's really entertaining, mate. In your video, you said, "Oh, um, now I wouldn't react to this because you know I have better things to do." Now I never said that because I definitely don't. Like I probably spend a solid ninety percent of my life just fucking around on the internet. I do not have anything better to do, mate. And you watch my videos. You said you had me under your radar for a while, which means you watch my videos. N no, it doesn't. It, it just means I've seen your videos. Surprisingly enough, I, I don't want to spend my time watching shite like this three to four times a day. I, I don't think any human with an IQ above five does. Like, I don't even think I've watched more than five of this guy's videos. And even then, I had to, like, jump through the video just because it was so boring. You feel me? I'm seven seconds into this video, and I already dislike him. First of all, can I just say, I love the stock iMovie text effects. that They really add something to the video. And secondly, what, what does it mean, why am I on his dick? I can assure you, Eli, mate, I am not on your dick. I don't know what I did to make you think that I was on your dick, but I can wholeheartedly assure you that I am not. You're a grown man, bro. You should know it's entertainment. Once again, it, it has to be entertaining to class as entertainment. This... So I need all you guys to, you know, be mature. Like, just be mature with me, right, guys? Like, don't be kidding, you feel me? 
I need you guys to be mature cray cray game. This does not class as entertainment. And when a lot of people seen the opinion wise video, they said, oh, Elijah, you're gay. Bruh, bruh, look at me. Do you really think I'm gay? Yes. Like, wh what does he even mean by that? Like, you can't really look at someone's face and be like, oh yeah, he's gay. But to be fair, in this case, I, I can tell that you are gay, mate. Little word of advice to all the haters. Get up from your ass, man. Go get some bread, man. Go chase a bat. Oh yeah, boys, get, get up off your ass. Go get some bread. Go chase a bat. I I, I, I don't know what that means. But yeah, you, you don't want to be like me. Because once I made a video on Eli, I've now got no bread, no bat. My life is pretty much meaningless. You're a hater. My content is better than yours. Now, th there's not much content on YouTube that's worse than mine. But um, yours definitely is, mate. Like, if we just look at your videos, most of them look as though they're just exactly the same concept. Like, playing with Georgie Boat in the water at night time, he got mad and tried to float me, OMG. Like, usually titles are meant to make the video sound interesting. But considering how boring this title sounds, I, I don't even want to know how boring the content is. All you do is play gay games and you're a grown-ass man. All you do is play gay games. Like, what? Is this man actually 12? Your channel corny, bro. Oh, no. My, my channel corny, bruh. Might as well just deactivate at this point. My fans love me. They know I'm lit. My personality lit. I'm funny. I know I'm dope. Nobody that's funny and has a good personality says that they're funny and has a good personality. Like, chances are, if you call yourself funny, then you're exactly the opposite. And you said something about my dad memeless. <sighs> Let's see you hit the dad, white boy. Because I heard white boy can't dance. Oh, yeah. It is a well-known fact that white people can't bend their arm at a right angle and then dip their head into their arm. That's something we're physically unable to do. Peace. And that's how the video ends. Just a bit of text on the screen saying, everyone comment, fuck memeless. How did he manage to spell my name wrong? I mean, he managed to spell it right in the title and description twice. But this end screen doesn't just go on for a few seconds. It goes on for almost a full minute at the end of his video. Literally just to stretch it to 10 minutes. That, that's its only purpose. Like, who would do something like that? But the backlash I got off this video was immense. It made me consider quitting YouTube. Like, we got, um, Eli so cray is so cool. Do not let the hatter hate. Like, Memeless angry emoji. And it's just nine seconds of like a guitar instrumental. Oh, you, you really showed me there. And then we got this next video here, which uh, I'm not 100% sure is from an Eli So Cray fan. But we got um, Cool Guy 778 making a video called Fuck You, Memeless, You Bitch. Well, if you come on to my channel, well, just fuck you. Don't come on to you. Well, that's rude. Right, but anyway, guys, that's the end of today's video, and I hope you did enjoy. Now, I know I mentioned this at the end of a lot of my videos recently, but we're trying to go for a million subscribers on the channel by the end of the year. I mean, it, it, it's going to be a bit of a push. So, yeah, if you're new around here and enjoyed this video, then please consider subscribing. Also, let's try and get this video to 35,000 likes. But, yeah, as I always say at the end of my videos, please don't send any hate over to anyone featured. It's really just unneeded. But, yeah, as I said, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, be sure to subscribe and smash that like button. <laughs> Come on! 
Give up, take little funk, king in his clan. Put the bar, 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 put the bar